Once you download and install copy-paste in the application folder, then you can start it up by double-clicking and you'll see this info screen. It just indicates that copy-paste is now active. Click to make it disappear. Copy-paste works in the background. It doesn't interfere with anything you're doing. It just remembers your copies and your cuts. What you will see is this new menu item. This new menu item allows you to access the manual, which you could find useful, and the preferences, where you can change the uh, different options and settings for copy-paste. Next, to learn about how copy-paste works, let's open up TextEdit. Let's select a paragraph. Let's copy. And now we can see in the menu that the first item here is our first copy. If we copy something else, the second paragraph here, we copy. Now that second paragraph is maintained as well as the first one. Usually you would have lost this first paragraph, but now we have both of them. Copy-paste remembers each one of your copies. Every time you copy, it remembers it. So from now on, you no longer have just one clipboard. You have many clipboards. Everything that you copy or cut is remembered. This remembering of clips turns out to be incredibly useful. It's what we call the clip history. So this clip history going back in time um, can save you on many occasions. Say you go through, you take these paragraphs, and you think to yourself, oh, I can do better than this. And you start typing something new. And then you realize that uh, there's really not enough time. And those paragraphs were actually pretty good. But unfortunately, they're gone. What do you do? Well, if you have copy-paste, you can go back. And because you copied them, they're still there. They're not lost, like when you just have one clipboard. The clip history is a constantly shifting stack of your clips over time. If you want to keep something in a permanent slot, then you want to use what is called the clip archives. The way to use that is you highlight a section of text, and then you've already created an archive called Clips of Speeches and you can choose Copy to Archive. Once that's done, it's now in this permanent area and when you want to retrieve it, you can get it in a variety of ways, but it's always going to be here and then you can go down and choose that particular clip. So to review quickly, a clip is the data that's found in the clipboard and copy paste keeps sets of clips there are two types one is the history the clip history has many clips that are cuts and copies going back over time the clip archive are clips that you want to keep a permanent record of and there may be different ones depending on what you name them. You can say boilerplate text, addresses, pictures of friends, clips of speeches. The archives can have titles and they can contain up to 42 clips for each archive and you can have an infinite number of these archives.